Hello, in 4 h and H here. Quick video. I'm doing this by hand. I, I wanted to catch this. 10 meters is open. And I'm discovering something interesting uh, between the FTDX 5000 and the FTDX 10. Um, look at this. Uh, on the FTDX 10, I'm running IPO, no attenuation. And on the 5000, I'm running no attenuation and amp 1. And uh, now I, I did read up on these, and the amplification of amp 1 and amp 2 is different on the 5000 than it is on the. Uh, 10 um, but that guy is just barely in there at amp 1 right I'm going to switch over to the 10 and that's with IPO now I'm going to turn on amp 1 Do you hear how much noisier it is on the 10? And back on the 5,000. Hmm, I don't know. It's just curious. Uh, for some reason, the the uh, the the uh, noise floor on the uh, 10 is higher on 10 meters when you go to amp one than it is on the uh, 5,000. And of course, this one's a hybrid, and this one is dual super header down down conversion. Um, I'm running the digital noise reduction at four on each rig. So when they come back, I'm just going to switch back and forth between the rigs and settings. I'll try to hold my hand steady. I'm going to go to DNR5. Okay, Bob Cap, I heard you, you at Camp ID. I heard you before the day started, and I was listening to you there. You got a real good signal, but earlier there was times when you were just fading away. I don't know what changed. But Jerry was asking you to turn the bike gate up and down a little bit, so I don't know what changed it, but you're good and strong now, so maybe it's the sun is up. Maybe the sun goes down, your signal gets better. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Anyway, I got him on this, Jerry. Five wires at A, Camp ID. Yeah, Bob, I'm still here. I'm just going to say 7 3 to everybody. So I'm good evening. I won't shut her down in five wires. 7 3, John. Yeah, they were talking about the, uh, the field day. Then Jerry said they're going to have it down at the trading, at the classrooms down at the bottom of the hill where they, where the Corvette guys have their uh, have their little track where, they, where they're set up. They're not going to be there this year, he said. So, so they're not going to be up there in the big room. They're going to be down at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> mostly concrete down there, I think. A good place for your trailer, but uh, I guess they still got to step up somewhere. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but that's where they've got us going. So I guess we want to do that, John, thing. Uh, before I go to Dale, any new check-ins please come down. Ten meters is open. That's great. I should check in. Something else, another pop shot. So the FTDX10 does better on 10 meters as far as the noise figure running IPO, which I find very curious because usually on a HF receiver, when you get higher in frequency, you need the assistance of the uh, amp, amp one, amp two. You hear it, how much he clears up though when I go to IPO? Just cycling digital noise reduction on and off. Off. I'm from South Carolina. This is my name is Bob. Bravo, Oscar, Bravo, old Bob in Oklahoma City. We have this net every Monday night. Of course, the band's not always open. Every Monday night at about 8.30, 8.45. 
I'm going to run out two on the 5,000. I was talking around to everybody earlier, and then I thought I was going to have a real busy kid meter that, and then it kind of fell apart. So good to have you in there. Uh, anybody else want to holler at Gary? It's info, info JFF at this call. Oh. Going to go to IPO1. Back to Ant1. In for JFF. Yeah, we're here every Monday night about 8.30 Central Time, so you're welcome back anytime, Jerry. Good evening from Carolina and 5K and you, Oklahoma. I'll switch back and forth one more time. I see there's a weak one there, but that one doesn't really help. Okay, Aaron, Bob, here you got the SFB before WXE. I'm sure. I figured Anthony would holler at uh, Gary, and he probably will, but uh, I'm sure J Jerry will holler at you as soon as I get to, it'll turn it over to him here. With the 5,000, I'm using the SM5000 external speaker. This amp tonight, I'm only running about 400 watts, so it's, uh, it's, my, it's my QRP amp. Uh, anybody want to holler at Howard? Is that going to be for WXC? I'm with the FTDX10, I'm uh, using the SP30. There's a weak one. Just some audio tape on. There is a sound. I heard KFA DLD Dale and Jones giving you a call. Uh, Dale, go ahead. So now I'm setting the high cut for sideband at 2400 hertz, rolling off with a good steep 18 dB. That'll help take out some of that high high pitch hiss. Okay, well that should give you enough, um, just an interesting difference between the two radios. Uh, you know, I haven't had the opportunity to really do a lot of testing with them on the high frequencies. And 10 meters happens to be open here at uh, 10 o'clock at night in the east. So it gave me the opportunity to do that, and I, I believe the 5,000's got the better receiver on um, on 10 meters, in my opinion, just the way the noise, uh, signal to noise ratio. But the interesting thing is, is that I need to use amp one with the 5,000 compared with using intercept point optimization on the FTDX10. Okay, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. Uh, you know, they're all great radios. We're just nitpicking here, but uh, just thought you might want to see little subtle things that I find here and there. Thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate uh, my Patreons for helping support the channel. Um, and if you'd like to become a Patreon, please do go to www.patreon, patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And um, I would much appreciate that to help me continue this uh, channel and, and bringing you this type of uh, programming. And, and of course, if you would, please uh, at least do this. Like and subscribe to the channel. That helps. And, of course, if you click the bell, you'll be notified when I upload the next video. Okay, hey, thanks for watching in 73 from N4HNH.